Welcome in along with Mike Renner. I'm Steve Palazzolo and this is your Cody Ford NFL Draft Profile, all powered by PFF Edge and Elite. All right, Mike, when we talk about offensive tackle prospects, we always like to say keep them at tackle as long as they can because the NFL needs offensive tackles. But Cody Ford has experience at guard. We think he'll be a good guard, but do we at least try him at tackle at the next level? I try him at tackle, but I'm not. This is the one prospect where I'm not going to get too upset at you if you say, you know what, he's not athletic enough to hold up that tackle in the NFL. We're going to kick him to guard right away and develop him there. Let him go there because he played guard back in 2017, 300 plus snaps there at guard and then right tackle this past season. Now he was fantastic at both in terms of what he brings to the table in pass protection, but it's a little more difficult doing it at the NFL level at tackle, what he's going to face. A lot of three-man contain rushes, pass block for Kyler Murray this past year. Not a lot of guys really attacking him with their speed. So I worry about that at the next level, but I think what he brings to the table in the run game and how he, well he uses his hands, I think it'll translate nicely to guard in the NFL. Let's discuss the run game a little bit because he's similar to Jawan Taylor for me because I think when you put those guys on and they run you know, a lot of power and counter type schemes at Oklahoma, he has the ability to just destroy people off the line of scrimmage and he does that quite a bit. He missed a few blocks. He missed more mm -hmm. than maybe some of the other guys in the draft class, but he can absolutely move people at the point of attack, which definitely bodes well whether he's playing right tackle or at guard at the next level. Yeah, certainly a people mover. You can't help but you know think back to even Orlando Brown at Oklahoma last year watching him, just how physically imposing he is at the point of attack. He just is so much larger than the guys he is blocking and can still move fairly well for a guy that size. Now, I think putting him at guard in a blocking scheme that's going to be a lot of double teams, going to be, you know, relies on movement off the line of scrimmage, he is going to be your man at the next level. And then circling back to the pass protection stuff, the numbers were, were excellent last year. That's yes. why essentially it's a breakout season for Cody Ford. I don't think he was on a lot of radars as a potential first round pick coming into the year, but he looked pretty good, handled himself well, even if it's a little bit easier to pass protect in the Big 12. Are there big concerns with that transition? I know we already talked about it a little bit, but this is where he's going to make his money, potentially. No, I think he uses his hands extremely well in pass protection. I love his balance, too, for a bigger guy. Uh, he's obviously, the change of direction limitations are there. I, I'm not going to say they're not, but I think on the inside, they're far less of a concern than they would be at tackle. So there you have it. It's your Cody Ford NFL Draft profile, a guy that can play a little guard or at least should deserve a shot at tackle at the next level. It's all been powered by PFF Edge and Elite.